This is a live tutorial for, for use of hydrogen in a live music setting. This is basically taking the drum sequencer and drum programming uh, ability of Linux and turning it into a live sound sequencer or sampler. You would first go, of course, to the green lizard menu. That's what I like to call it. You're going to start up QJack, of course, so you can dedicate the sound card and you don't get any hang ups or freezes. Select start to start the uh, the jack server. You'll notice that it's start and the latency percentage is listing. Go to connect and you'll go to the ALSA menu and you'll see that MIDI through is already tied to keyboard. That's because if you didn't have a MIDI keyboard, the actual keyboard on the computer you would use. In this case we have a MIDI keyboard or sampler already plugged in. We're going to go back to gr happy green lizard. I'm going to start hydrogen. HYD in the search menu brings it up almost instantly. Hydrogen starts. You'll notice a list of uh, instruments is like a default kit. Uh, you can load, you can set it so it loads to any kit you want. That's just a default because we're opening it for the first time. You're not going to use the uh, the uh, measure by measure. So what we're going to do is we're going to close it out by dragging uh, this portion of it up. You can add as many or as little instruments per the kit. So you can probably save each one as a certain, each set of uh, samples as an individual song. You can bring up on your menu quite easily. What we're going to do is we're going to clear all these instruments to build a kit. So in your case, you would build like a Ring of Scars kit or a kit for a song. So we're going to clear all. It's going to ask you if you really want to, and of course we do. I have instrument one highlighted. I have the keyboard plugged in, and we now have know that the uh, sound is going to be dedicated because Jack has dedicated the keyboard to the actual program Hydrogen, and we have the MIDI to the keyboard. You can follow the line. It's a mixer. Go to Audio. Just make sure that Hydrogen is connected to the system output. That's like your master on a mixer. We're going to click on the uh, actual application hydrogen which we're going to use now you want to add a sample very simple instrument one is highlighted go to where it says layers on the far right you'll see a listing you can assign as many sounds as you want to one instrument you can mix and match it's pretty badass actually when you think about it you can add a whole multitude of, multitude of crap so what we're going to do down in the bottom of this window is we're going to select load layer. It's going to bring up your directory on your hard drive. Find a sound. In this case, I'm going to use something called uh, machinery. It'll bring up the sound below. You'll see a waveform of the sound. We want to use that, so we'll select open. Instrument one is now assigned to key, the very first key on either your MIDI sequencer or your keyboard. <coughs> So, just to rehash it again, we're going to add another instrument. So, we're going to go to instrument two. You'll notice nothing is loaded. So, we're going to go down to load layer. You'll see your directory appear for your hard drive. And find yourself a sound. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to go industrial on this. So, I'm going to use an explosion sound. You'll see the wave or MIDI or A file that you have load up. You can test it if you want. Okay, we like that. Open. So now that explosion sound is assigned to the second key on the keyboard, which in this case will be, of course, the uh, C sharp or D flat, depending on what you want to call it. Um, there you go. It, the, you have the sound that's assigned there. So we're going to. And you can continue on assigning instruments and you can name them as well. You would probably save this as a song or as your whole set list because you can probably just go down sequentially per song and have each instrument that you need assigned to different keys. That's what I would do. Or you have a MIDI pad. So however you want to do it. And that is hydrogen being used as a live sampler.